Morning, everybody. It's DJ Envy, Angela Yee, Charlamagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Clubs. We have some special guests in the building. We have Tonya Taylor. Welcome. Thank you. And Sanchez. Now, tell us about the program. What is the I Will Graduate program? Well, the I Will Graduate program is a youth development um, program that helps young people find their life's purpose. Mm-hmm. It's really a way to inspire them to understand that it's bigger than school. It's it's not just about school, but it's about understanding what your goals are and your dreams are. And school is one of the uh, components to uh, fulfilling those dreams and those goals. Now, you also have I Will Graduate Day. I Will Graduate Day is a youth empowerment day where we bring our young people from all across the city mm-hmm. and we really inspire them. We bring out guest speakers and we really want them to know that they're loved, that they're cared, that the people that they admire are coming out to support them mm-hmm. and let them know that they can do anything they want to do. And so it's just an amazing event to inspire our youth. In Brooklyn. In Brooklyn at King's Theater. <laughs> This is absolutely ridiculous. I'm not sure what's going on, but I can't even get in my office. Look at all this stuff in my office. Come on. It's 24 hours left before I will graduate day. It's literally tomorrow. And there's so much going on, so many moving parts. Usually when I'm under pressure, I get calmer and calmer and calmer. But just know, there's a fire burning on the inside. There's a lot going on right now. This um, last minute, last minute um, changes, last minute um, switches to the production, the run of show. Um, everybody is very busy into their own tasks, what they have to get done. Um, Ms. Lewis is uh, getting everybody organized, according to her. Um, and uh, we're just, um, Excited, anxious. My expectations are really just to create a great, phenomenal show. You know, aside from everything that comes with productions, because it's a lot, like a lot of people don't see, you know, they'll see this beautiful swan just floating above the water and they're just like, oh my God, that was fabulous. They don't see the feet pedaling really, really fast. And a lot of times, you know, I I love to do great shows. I really, really do. Um, But I want all the kids to walk away with this amazing feeling of, oh my God, this was amazing. Oh my God, my dreams can come true. You know what I mean? And then of course, you know, I love the drama backstage. I just love like watching it keeping it moving like oh my god there's always two shows there's a show that the audience see and then there's a show that the audience is not supposed to see backstage and that show is always good and as a director as a teen growing up uh, one of the things that I struggled with was probably confidence Um, something that I still go through today confidence but especially as a teen everything's intense I think if I had something like I'll graduate or different programs that we work with to encourage me to kind of pick my head up and make sure that everything's fine, then I think I would have been super confident as a kid and not have to wait till I was like 30. A lot of our youth don't see positivity. That's why the I'll graduate program is important. So students can see that with determination, hard work, and just focusing on the goal, which is to get a high school diploma, they can be successful. I grew up in a neighborhood similar to these students, and you know, it could have gone either direction for me. I feel there's a responsibility for me to give back to the next generation and to help them succeed the same way others have helped me succeed. So for the show, um, we had a set budget for our production, and um, we're pretty much over budget. 
still work on today, but my goal for the morning is to figure out what we're going to do regarding the production, the screen, and all of that stuff. That's because that, mm -hmm. that is the most important thing this morning, and then we can focus on this. So you and I should just meet right now and discuss it, because when I looked at the invoice, I couldn't understand all the logistics, and then speaking to Steven at King's Theater, and him telling me one thing, it just, uh, you know, was a little confusing. So why don't you bring over the invoice, let's talk about it now. Because when we were first talking to um, the venue about the projector screen costs, everything to my knowledge was factoring already in our original budget. So this additional 10,000 was just, I don't know where they came from. We are running out of time. And if we do not find the funding, everything will crash and burn. Our reputation is at stake and we cannot let the students down. We have so many people depending on this show to be successful, and we got to make it happen. Three, eight, seven, eight. Uh, my name is Tonya Lewis. I'm calling from the Iowa Graduate Program. I'm here with Sanchez Tuit, and you and Sanchez spoke last week regarding our um, youth empowerment event at King's Theater called Iowa Graduate Day. Exactly. And you guys, you gave him a quote for the projector screen and the projector, correct? Yeah, exactly. And I'll be screen and a projector, yeah. I'm not getting approval from my board of directors for those extra costs. We're trying to find a alternative solution to still have the screen and be able to project the images, but without, with the fraction of the cost. Typically, the house supplies the hands because it'd be more expensive if we have to supply the hands on our end, then it gets to be kind of expensive for you guys. So typically, you know, if you're renting the theater, it typically comes to some sort of labor, but um, you know, that's a typical situation. Appreciate it. Okay, th yeah, thank you, bye-bye. Bye. All right, this so. Is, this screen is our screen. And we got our people to help pick, pick, put our shit up. Yeah, but it doesn't work like that, unfortunately. Well, it, 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 because I've already had these conversations with the King's Theater, you can't do anything on their stage. You can't even put this on their stage. A DJ can bring his little, what you got, but you can't do anything, can't touch anything without their stage hands and their stage labor uh, people handling it. Right. And so the cost will not change. Only place we'll save some money is on the rental of the screen, okay. which will save a couple of thousand dollars there. But as far as the stagehand labor, there's no there's no savings. All right, this is not happening because um, that ten thousand, that extra ten thousand dollars, will put us way over our budget, and that's um, a problem because we don't have the money. That money is definitely non-existent. Calm before the storm. Some of the difficulties is trying to like make reach out to everybody. Like when we have to follow up with phone calls and there's like over 300 schools to call and, and sponsors and going down the list and calling and trying to figure out who the communication affairs person is and the person hanging up the phone and not answering, leaving you on hold. Um, all that kind of stuff makes it really difficult. But um, at the end of the day, it gets done. Sophia, come on in, honey. Thank you. You're welcome. You, what do you got for me? It's the proclamation. Oh! Uh, wow. From I will graduate from Brooklyn Borough President Eric Adams. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. So now we have one from the mayor, one from city council, and mm -hmm. now one from the Brooklyn Borough President. How cool is that? I'm telling you, we doing it. Hey, what's up, Pedro? Hey, man, I was just, just going over to run the show with my assistant. Yeah, how, how, how's everything going with you? Cool, cool, cool. What? So there have been some interesting developments. Pedro, who is the host of our pre-show, just ghosted us. 
Pedro is a working actor and he knows all of our routines, but he got booked for a show in Vegas and left us hanging. So now we have to find a new host for our pre-show. And that's the reason why I told you that we gotta find an extra person because yeah. we can't depend on Pedro and these actors. Franco. Yes, sir, what's up? Hey, what's up, I'm here with Tonya. Hey, Franco, how are you? Yeah. So I'm gonna jump right in, Franco. We have a little situation. Um, the gentleman that handles all of our pet rallies, I think you probably met him before, his name is Pedro. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, Pe yeah, Pedro, you know, he's an actor, aspiring actor. He got a gig, and he just told us today that he cannot be uh, here for our graduate day. So the only person I thought of that will be able to fill in is you. Oh, wow. And I know you're in Philadelphia, but is it possible that you can move some things around and get up yeah, here? You know what? You can actually actually also host the main show as well. Oh, no, you can put the team back together. Well, you know, I'm Puerto Rican. As long as it's free food, it's, we good. Well, I got your free food, baby. <laughs> so you come on and we can make it happen. Absolutely. Well, thank, you. thank you for the honor. I appreciate it. I'm honored. All right, Franco. We appreciate you. Well, when I got the call about the cancellation, um, I was a little nervous about it because it's last minute. Um, but I know if Tanya needs help, I'm, I'm going to do it. But uh, I was a little <laughs> nervous, still am. Uh, but I'm here to support it. And, um, you know, whatever they need, I'm, I'm going to do. But uh, when one door closes, another one opens. So, you know, I'm glad to be here. It's calm, but cha not chaotic, but calm. It's calm and, uh, it, it is kind of calm. It's calm and a little bit of buzz of like, little crazy, but not out of control crazy. That's the best way I can say. <laughs> uh, there's a lot going on. Uh, reconfirming guests, uh, run a show. Uh, in addition to managing and preparing for tomorrow's event, um, I have to also micromanage the our regular youth development programs that are being facilitated at schools. So that means following up with all the instructors that are currently at school sites, uh, facilitating classes, uh, preparing for classes for Thursday, Friday, since I won't be in the office tomorrow. So it's been very um, intense in the office. Listen, we are so just indebted to you guys for always supporting us and coming through. I'm just so excited. Thank you. And we look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. All right. Thank you again. Sanchez, come over. Come over. Well, we got the money. You lying. I'm not lying. We got it? So we got the money. Two of our sponsors came in and we were able to fill the deficit, the $17,500 deficit. So we are forging ahead. Tomorrow is I will graduate day. I will graduate day is the day and it's in five hours. We got to get this cracking. It's going down. I'm behind schedule, but I'm gonna get with you in a minute. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. um, I just need everybody here. Kyra, I need everybody in, in here. here, all of the volunteers in here, so I can meet with everybody really oh, quickly. Okay. I'm behind schedule. <laughs> everybody, a big round of applause! <laughs> I just want to say thank you to everybody. We are like two hours behind schedule, but we know that we are here for a good cause. And I want to just say, first and foremost, thank you to all of you. You guys are making this possible. And you know I'm a crybaby. That's why I'm glad I don't have my makeup on yet. But I'm so grateful to you all because this is a labor of love. And...
I'm such a crybaby. It's real. It's real. It's real, though. But that's what it is. This is a labor of love, and it's not easy doing this. I mean, from the beginning, financially, we are tapped. There has been so many uh, drawbacks, but we are here. And so I just want to say to you guys, thank you. I love you all. Even if I'm a little short, you know, when I'm in work mode, y'all know, just flow with me. But you know the love is there. When these kids are already lined up outside, y'all. Yeah, they are. They are. They are. They are. Around the corner. And we're going to have them around, around the corner. Yeah. So, in 15 minutes, Sanchez, you're listening? Yeah. In 15 minutes, my crew goes to lunch. Yes. Okay. Stage is dark for an hour. Stage is dark for an hour. So we're we're sitting here. We've seen one performance mm -hmm. out of mm -hmm. several, mm -hmm. and uh, we haven't rehearsed anything. Mm -hmm. So we're going into your show blind, mm -hmm. and we haven't rehearsed anything in show conditions. Mm -hmm. So right. I'm uh, mildly concerned. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and so let's shut down for an hour. No one on stage. When you guys come back at 12:30, it's going to be express, right? Going through the show. Is that a plan? Everyone's on one accord with that? Sanchez, you got that? Beginning, 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 tip top. First scene. I think dealing with the talent and seeing how excited they are to be a part of the show, that's like the highlight of why you do this, you know what I mean? You want to be able to put these memories in place for the rest of their lives and, they, and that gives them hope for everything that they want to do. There was a lot going on at the theater. We were two hours behind schedule, and um, I went to find Franco. Franco is MIA. I had people searching for him. Nobody's seen Franco. We're running out of time. We have to start this show. I'm trying to stay calm right now. I'm not feeling good about this. Just have a seat, because you're going to just assist me. Have a seat. Um, Franco, what's going on? Um, I'm trying to meet with you. You're, you're MIA. What's happening? Why would... But, Franco, you see that we were two hours behind. As soon as I get to meet with you, you're not here. I'm not understanding what's going on right now. Hello? have an understanding, but that's not the problem. There's people that's coming that's not on the list. Like whom? So, for example, the prep rally team is not on the list. So, even if they say Sanchez or Omar, uh -huh. it's not going to just let them in like that because they're not on the list. I'm not sure because I didn't put together the list. There are other performers that are coming in. Either they're saying Avery, they're saying Jonathan, they're saying Jack and Jill. Yo, do we have they're a Zoom recorder? They're not on the list. So, I'm... I need it. You gotta give it to Wayne. This yeah. is the problem. <laughs> By the way, got something going on with that situation. Huh? Omar or Avery gotta come get him. I'm Omar and Avery boss. I'm paying them. So they with me. They I pay these people all the time. This is what they telling me. Who who just told you? Which one? My security. Could you call um what's her name? Elise or what's her name is? The the young the Ashley? girl. Ashley? Or Francesca or the other people I've been dealing with? Yeah. Front gate, yeah, what about the entrance no. way? 22 Derea, come back here. So, uh, loading dock. Man. You come back to the loading dock. So, Franco is on his way downtown Brooklyn to pick up his son from the hotel. And I'm trying to understand why are you leaving the venue three hours before we open doors to go get your son at the hotel? And why didn't you bring your son with you when you know that I already told you that we were meeting to go over the run of show. It, it was just really upsetting, and I'm just glad that uh, I didn't say the wrong thing. Franco! What's up, man? Good see you in a minute, man. Yeah, How you been? Yeah, we're here, we're here. Yeah. Rice and beans. What's up? <laughs> what happened? I'm trying to give directions. Good morning. Stop sign, How make a left. Stop sign, make a left. Hello? Here's the world. Where's Waldo situation, all right? I was five hours early. And I was on time, I read my itinerary, and then everybody said, break for lunch. All right, so I went on break. I go get my son, I got an hour break, y'all. Don't stress, Tonya, 
We've been doing this for 15 years. We got this. So I'm going through the pep rally run of show with Franco, and I'm trying to explain to him the format and how it goes from beginning to end, all the things that we do in terms of we come out with the dancing, this is how we do it, we throw the balls out in the audience, we have the kids go crazy, then we do, you know, we see who are, you know, who runs the school, who the smart kids are, we do the trivia, and we have like a little format. And I felt that Franco wasn't too uh, familiar with it. I had asked him if he had seen any previous footage of Pedro because our original hosts couldn't make it because he had to be out of town. He said he saw the footage, but I could see in his eyes that he was still a little unsure. So I decided to kind of co-host with him because I've seen Pedro do it plenty of times. And I think we did a pretty good job working together in terms of me filling in the gaps or leading him into the next segment of the, um, the pep rally. See, you guys left strict orders. You know, we don't know he's your boss. We don't know that. Sorry, I don't, That's I'm what he sure said. Sanchez was just out here. Yeah, he's the president of the, the Did agency. Did you get what I'm saying? He's saying something different. Uh, you okay. get what I'm saying? Y'all nah, guys left sure strict orders. <laughs> oh, man, we're facing <laughs> he's over y'all, you know. But well, you left strict orders, only you or the Understood. other person. So that's what we doing. Got it. All right? My apologies, guys. It's okay, man. Don't worry. I would have let them in, but I got to go by your rule. Uh, All right? President I can do that? Yes. All right. <laughs> Don't throw me under the bus. No, no, no. I'm going to do that. Yeah. <laughs> so now when he comes out, he can get people in. Sanchez is allowed to let people in. Hey, Ray, how are you? Good, good, good. Oh, it's been crazy, but we're making it. Let's get this rocking. We are at the point where we've gone through all of the drama and we are getting ready to open the doors. and to make sure that they understand the importance of education, how powerful education is. It's really great for me to be at an event like I Will Graduate just because I am that same person, like those little kids who they are right now, I used to be that. So I just think about when I was younger, how I could have been more motivated and inspired. You know, sometimes there's like a real disconnect when the teachers don't really know how to speak to you or encourage you or make you feel like you can be successful. You know, I know it would have inspired me to see somebody that came from where I came from that, you know, made it. Students need to see that adults believe in them. They know that there are people just like them, that grew up just like them, that are willing to support them in their careers and in their creativity and in all of their ideas of what their future careers will look like. As it relates to STEM, every single industry will be impacted by artificial intelligence. Therefore, children of color specifically need to have a front row seat in understanding science, technology, engineering, and math careers and how they could be definitely included and make decisions for a better future. Gene, Matthew Eugene, this is his district, and we're so grateful to have him. Welcome to the 40th district. And I think this event is a very, very important event that can motivate and inspire the young people to become the leaders of tomorrow. When they see elected officials like myself and other colleagues come to talk to them, they will be inspired. Here we go! Here we go! 
event is so important in the city of New York because music, the arts, entertainment are really what has captivated the interest of our young people. And so to uh, not have an event like this would be crazy because young people respond to music. They respond to entertainment. They, they respond to the individuals that they're seeing on YouTube, on their phones, on their computers. Music is power. And our young people, particularly children of color, respond to music, respond to entertainment in such a way that this is the most influential medium for us to reach young people. Me being from Queens and New York in general, um, it gives kids something to look up to that they could actually feel like they could reach. Because a lot of times people see celebrities and feel like, I can't make it, this person's from nowhere where I'm from. So seeing people that surround the community making it and being like successful and coming to events like this and showing kids that, yo, look, I came from these situations just like you and you can make it as well. So I went to Edward Amara High School. One teacher that really like pushed me the most is a big contribution to where I am today, I would say, um, is Mr. Riley. He uh, was a teacher for the music technology program. He pushed me outside of music and as well as in music. So he knew that I was doing social media outside of school. He would give me like opportunities that would, that had to do more with me personally. For the kids that's going through rough, difficult times, I want to tell you how to, Everything happened for a reason. There's a reason behind everything that goes on in your life, you feel me? And, and the reason is challenges, you feel me? So when you're taking an L, you're not taking a loss. It's, it's a lesson in life that's gotta be brought to your attention that makes you a better person. So when you're going through something in life, it's gonna make you build, it's gonna make you become stronger, so it motivates you to what you really wanna be in life, you feel me? So don't ever worry about negativity, you feel me? That's gonna make you a bigger person and, and the platform that you need to express yourself, you feel me? So just stay focused, become who you wanna be, and, and block out all that negativity, that's a fact. I'm so grateful our Brooklyn Borough president showed up. I was a solid B student in school. But how many A students can call themselves the first black borough president of the borough of Brooklyn? The New York State Attorney General, Letitia James, is in the house. Lift your heads up, stand up straight, and let them know that you will graduate. In spite of all of the drama, all of the challenges, I'm super excited that we did an amazing job and that we did a job well done. I love you. I love you. I love you. We did it. Yes, we did. Great job. Great job. I feel like I could just pass out. Yeah, I know, but that, that, that's how you know I work. Because okay. you gave your all. You had them on their feet, dreaming. Oh, yes, I did. I mean, every word you said, that was amazing. Really? Kids don't listen to nobody. They listen to you. <sighs> really? Yeah, you're doing a good thing, darling. You're Thank doing you. a great thing. You're doing a great oh, thing. Oh, God, I'm so glad to see you. Not only are they like giving people hope to graduate and stuff, but it's always making people come closer and say like, oh, we can do this together. Like, nobody's alone. One of them said to keep pushing no matter how hard it gets. If, if you go through a rough path, just keep moving forward. They said that not to give up, just to keep pushing and stuff, like to make it in life and to do what you want to do by seeing like, how enthusiastic, like how she said enthusiastic I was like to see us graduate. We want to see ourselves graduate, so that's what made me inspired to even want to, like even more to graduate than I was before. Never giving up, keep pushing yourself. Even though it's hard, you could keep pushing yourself because you never know what could happen at the end of the day. A SARS-like virus, which has infected hundreds in China, has now reached the United States. This is an evolving situation. Literally every day we learn a little bit more about it. We're really not sure where we are in this. The lives of millions of Americans are being severely disrupted by the coronavirus pandemic. One of the biggest disruptions, schools. 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 From kindergarten to college, closing their doors. The issue that's been on everyone's mind is our public schools. I regret to have to announce that as of tomorrow, our public schools will be closed. So after coming off this tremendous victory of having a successful I Will Graduate Day, 
Who would have thought that six weeks after the event, the entire world would completely shut down? A global pandemic, the coronavirus, COVID-19, what was that? Tonight, hospitals across the country reaching a breaking point. I see patients die every day. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I thought I was prepared to take care of critical patients. This is nothing that I've seen before. This was devastating. No one on the planet had ever witnessed anything like this. So many of my family, my friends were dying. Me, my husband, we both contracted COVID. It wasn't easy. I remember Miss Lewis was just, you know, she called me and she was also, you know, I mean, she's strong, you know, but she was also a little bit, you know, uncertain about the future I would graduate and just because, I mean, everyone was uncertain. You know, we thought things would kind of go back to normal. I think I remember we had some college trips scheduled. You know, we sent out emails to everyone to make sure that, you know, we're still here. I will graduate, never fails. We never miss. We're gonna continue business as usual. Um, unfortunately, that wasn't the case because colleges were shutting down. Um, schools themselves were shutting down. Everything was shutting down. Our organization, we went through a tough time. We suffered so much loss. We had to lay off 30 employees. We lost millions of dollars in contract services. It was rough for a little bit. It was a little bit stressful, you know? Um, seeing if I will graduate is gonna be around at the end of the year, um, seeing if my job is still gonna be my job. Things were bad, man. Scary, scary times. You just, you know, keep thinking, is this how our lives and our career are gonna end? Things were just terrible, terrible, terrible times, man. Was there like a plan B? There was no, there was no plan B. There was no plan B, to be honest with you. Although it was tough, I never lost hope in my God. I prayed and I prayed for direction because you know, as an executive director, everyone depends on you for their livelihood. And that was a lot of weight on my crown, but the I Will Graduate team, we stuck through it like family, being the true gladiators that we are. We stayed strong and we pushed through. We're not gonna give up. We're gonna try to get as much um, help as we can as far as different loans, all of the small business loans and that they were giving out to different organizations. That really, really helped. That really helped a lot. We had to adapt to the new virtual world and convert most of our programs to remote learning. Most of our programs were facilitated via Zoom. We had to train our remaining instructors on how to facilitate those programs on Zoom. We also had to convert our lesson plans to virtual activities. Nothing can stop us but God. And we got a lot of work to do, so let's go. a big announcement. In addition to surviving COVID-19 and returning to some normalcy, the I Will Graduate office is moving to a new office space. We're like the Jeffersons. Well, we're moving on up, yeah, to the east side, to a new office space in Bed-Stuy. Well, we're moving on up. Hey man, our office went from being in a bedroom, then to a basement office, then to our real office space, and now we're moving to a bigger office space. We're blessed, man, we're blessed. I'm just happy about the new office. I finally have doors that close. Hey, wow, look at all this space. Yes, I need it. By, by the, okay, this is nice, by the window. Yeah. Much better view. Yeah. Yeah, right across from my school to remind me of the work that I'm doing. <laughs> right across from the school. You, you can't get no better than this.
Oh, I have my own office, so I'm so happy and so excited about what's next for our organization. How, like, the modern, that modern look is always good. Gotta put a nice mirror in there. Yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah we'll, we'll look at her. <laughs> Omar, you know, finally has his office. I know he's excited about that. Got my, my own office, of course, but I still can't, you know, uh, zero everybody out. Things are starting to finally pick back up. We just landed funding from the city of New York to produce the Five Borough College and Career Readiness Tour, keeping students motivated throughout New York City so that they can pursue their dreams. In addition to planning for this tour, we also have some new staff members that's joining the team. So there are many moving parts. Hi, my name is Malaika, and I'm the new office manager at Iowa Graduate. So even though our dearest Jessica Osei is no longer with us, she will always be a part of the I Will Graduate family. Malika has some pretty big shoes to fill. So I would say filling Jessica's shoes was a little bit challenging. I'm coming into the organization. We already have things in swing, programs are running, and I had, they just basically we got thrown into the fire. But I came in ready to work and ready to get things done. My name is uh, Kwesi, I'm 20. I'm a recent graduate from Middlebury College of Vermont. Uh, I will graduate, my title is Project Manager and Program Manager. My first intro into I will graduate was Miss Lewis. Uh, in high school, I was also a big dancer and one of my dance directors was also a music video director. Um, and I think Miss Lewis was shooting uh, I'm More Than a Conqueror. Where are all my victorious people? Refuse to be defeated. So I assisted on the day of that shoot, had a conversation with Miss Lewis. She wanted to know my aspirations, uh, what kind of student I was. And then from there, she just kind of kept tabs on me. Um, and as different projects came up, uh, I was more than eager to, you know, offer my expertise, uh, help out any way I can. And I'm telling you, we put Aquasi through some stuff. We had him out there delivering flyers. He was working in the office, doing whatever needed to be done. He went to college on a posse scholarship, graduated college, and wanted to come back and work for us. So right now, we're getting ready for this tour. I'm at rehearsal with the team, making that magic happen. No stress, but the tour starts in 10 days. So my goal is to make sure that the team is fully operational and moving as a unit. All right, y'all good? Everybody's good? Yeah, yeah. Act like that, I mean, I'm gonna be rocking for like 10, 12 shows, so. I like that cousins. All right, all y'all cousins. So the tour has started and we're knocking out all the schools on the schedule as planned. The students are receiving the information well. Everything is going according to plan. Hey. Hey. Yes, that is correct, y'all. Make some noise for the girls side win. We're so thankful for the I Will Graduate program. They came out and they just energized my 11th and 12th graders. Coming out of COVID-19, hope is the greatest infectious mindset that we need at this time. And that's why we have I Will Graduate come out. So we made it to the end of the Five Borough College and Career Readiness Tour. Our principals were so happy to see us. I Will Graduate was in the building and I'm telling you, we pulled off an amazing tour. I wanna just say congratulations to Sanchez. You did a good job, Sanchez. I taught you well. Well, listen, our goal is if we save 
five kids or change the mindset of five kids out of 50, then we did our job. You know, our job is just, just to spark the minds of, you know, as much kids as we can, you know? Awesome, Stephanie, thank you so much. I am so appreciative of all your hard work. Oh, I'm telling you, they are gonna be so excited. Thank you, I appreciate it, look forward to it. All right, thank you, have a good day. Talk to you soon, bye-bye. Woo! Woo! Attention, attention, I will graduate staff. Guess what? What? We just got Barclay Center for I Will Graduate Day. Give yourself the big hand. hosting I Will Graduate Day at the Barclay Center Arena this year. And we are bringing 15,000 students from around the city to celebrate education. Barclay Center has always been, always been a dream of ours. You know, we always wanted to do a big, big arena, thousands of thousands of kids. You know, when you think about how long we've been doing this and the fact that this dream is coming to fruition, that we're going to have the largest youth empowerment event in New York City. I mean, who could ask for anything better than that? So this morning, my goal is to meet with the team so that we can prepare for I Will Graduate Day. I Will Graduate Day is the largest youth empowerment event in New York City, and all eyes is on our organization. So we gotta get this right. All right, good morning team, I Will Graduate. How y'all doing this morning? Good morning. I just wanted to let you guys know that things are moving nicely, I Will Graduate is in the building, Barclays Center. You already know that. We talked about that on Friday. I'm excited. Are you excited? Yeah, we are. Y'all don't sound excited, get excited. <laughs> I just want to go down the list. Uh, I'll start with a Quasi. We want you to start working on artist procurement. We need to get a big name artist locked in for our graduate day. Artist procurement. Nasara, you're going to be working on the schools. Kashaya, you're going to be doing all of our operations, our field operations. Uh, going out scouting. Uh, Malika, I will have you reaching out to all of our political partners. Sanchez, to it. Big boss. Everybody say big boss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put you to work directly with Equacy, pulling together all of the label support that we can get, and then any influencers who have worked with us in the past. Okay. And um, Omar, Specifically, you're going to be working on all of the DYCD stuff, all of our school partners um, reaching out to uh, make sure that we can tie in all of the different community partners that uh, we have. Just wanted to give you guys just an update uh, and a snapshot of what you will be working on. We want New York to stand up and really come together to make sure that our young people are energized for the 2022-23 school year. So we got a lot of work to do. So let's go. Let's get it. Every year I will graduate host a number of back to school activations. We host them in every borough throughout New York City. And our goal is really to provide students with all of the essential tools that they need for back to school. I just want y'all to remember, while we're having a good time, this is also about back to school, but it's also about peace in our community. Say, I will graduate. I will graduate. Come on, y'all. I will graduate. I will yes, we want to make sure that everybody in this area is ready for school.
This year, um, in addition to all of our community partners, we have Fabio Foran who will be joining us uh, for those activations and he will be a guest at our graduate day. It's going down. <laughs> So we're at CBS. We get to the building. Of course, I'm there early, uh, waiting on Miss Lewis. You know, she's a little bit uh, behind time. And uh, so we're in the lobby. We're waiting. And of course, uh, she forgets her ID. We can't make this up, right? Okay. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. We arrive at the building, and I'm searching through my bag, looking for my ID. I cannot find my driver's license or any major ID. I still keep looking and I find a YMCA card. They let me in. YMCA ID, I left my driver's license home. That's terrible, but I'm in. CBS News. But what time are we going on? Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock, so we have a little. At least five, two. Okay, perfect. Would you guys mind following me? I got yeah. it. I'm going to be on the couch. So y'all know I'm no stranger to stage and makeup. Everybody knows my backstory, but just being in the CBS studios, honey, they just take it to a whole nother level. They brought in the makeup artists and I'm sitting in the chair and it just felt natural. It felt like I was supposed to be there. I'm in the makeup room with Lynn. Hi. Yeah, at CBS and we're gonna glam up. This is just a refresher for the hair. You're gonna love the smell. You look fabulous, but we do it for the cameras. There you go. Joining me now is the president of I Will Graduate, Sanchez Tua. Great to see you. Good morning. And we've got tears in our eyes because mm -hmm. this is such an amazing journey for you. Executive director and co-founder, Tonya Lewis-Taylor, welcome. Thank you so much for having us. Wow, it has been such an amazing journey. And it has. Uh, so for you, it's been years in the making. Years. Yes. Since you were 11, you told me. 11. I've been in youth ministry. My mom is a pastor. I'm a preacher's child. I've been in ministry my whole entire life. So this is really just a uh, extension of my ministry and what I've been doing my whole entire life. We have people like um, Fabio. We have people like Lala Anthony, Joseph Sikora, uh, and many others, uh, a lot of our politicians as well. So it's Friday after having a successful week of preparing for our graduate day, I got hit with a surprise. Nasera's resigning. What's this, you leaving? Yes, unfortunately. This can't be real. This can't be happening. Not now. You want yes. me to be honest? Yes. Um, Nasera quitting was a gut punch. To be fair, that's my honest opinion about it. it was a gut punch because we were smack in the middle, maybe a month out from the event at the time. And then she just sprung on us and just said, hey, I'm leaving, I won't be back. And you know, right before her last final days, she dipped on, on us when we needed her the most. Now Sarah's role was pretty much all school outreach. I mean, she is a college student. She is studying law. I think opportunity came and she took it, so. Nasara leaving, do you have anything to say about that? I'm sorry, Nasara who? Hey, the show must go on. Hey, what's up, T? Um, you got a second? I need to meet with you about something. Okay, I'm coming over. So, are you ready to meet? Yes, uh, y'all come on in. Come on. Good morning, guys. Good morning, good morning. How are you? 
Good, good, good. So what's up? Um, so I just want to jump right in. Um, Malika uh, mentioned to me that Barclays is ready to move forward mm -hmm. uh, with our contract, um, but we have to make a deposit. Can we make that deposit today? How much is the deposit? We're looking at an eighty thousand dollar deposit. Hmm. Eighty thousand. Yeah. Today. Today. Okay. Um. We can make the we could definitely move forward with the deposit. Um, I'm gonna ask. Uh, I just want to have a conversation with Sanchez for a minute. So no if you could just step out, but thank you so much. But we can do it. We can definitely do it. I thought it was a little bit odd when I was asked to leave the room because I know we were just discussing paying the deposit on the arena. But you know, I left the room and got ready to start processing the payment and started to get the documents together. So I wanted Malika to step out because yeah. I wanted us to have a really serious conversation. You know, yeah. we've been struggling trying to pull in all of our funding that's out all over the city, right? And um, right now we are definitely facing some financial difficulties. Uh, when we did King's Theater, that was only 17,000, but yeah. now we're talking about 10 times that amount, 170. Okay, mm. so um, you know we'll 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 make it happen. We always yeah. do, but yeah, we uh, always do. We I always just do. didn't want to, you know, alarm anybody. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we've been here before, so um, I think you know um, one step at a time. Let me get this bank transfer ready, so we mm -hmm. can get this contract locked in, so we mm -hmm. always still follow Barclays, and um, we'll find the money. I know we will find the money. So. We always do, right? Yeah, I mean, that's all. <laughs> run out on the bell. I know, that's right. <laughs> all right, cool. We'll make it happen. Thank right, cool. you. All right. Sometimes in business, you know, you can't reveal all of the, you know, financial issues that your your company is, you know, going through. Because sometimes that would scare, you know, your workers and your employees. So sometimes you can't tell everybody everything. So there are things where only the executives, you know, need to kind of figure out and deal with. So at the time, we just didn't want to scare Malika, so we just wanted to, you know, kind of keep everything under wraps because we definitely believe that we're going to make this happen. So the only thing that's on my mind right now is to allocate the funds so Malika can get the deposit ready for Barclays because we must get our walkthrough booked. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys. We're at Barclays Center for our walkthrough for our graduate day. Um, things are, you know, really coming to realization, you know. This is something that we always wanted to do. It's just so surreal, um, just being in the arena and knowing that 10,000 kids are gonna be filled in these seats and we're gonna be in control of the biggest youth empowerment event in New York City. never seen the arena fully empty, empty seats, empty concourse. I've never seen it that way. And I think that when we did our initial walkthrough, it kind of made the feeling that we're really doing this come through for me. Cause it's like, okay, we're here in this empty arena. You know, you don't get to see back a house. You don't get to see what it looks like before the main event. Usually you guys have the little DJ set up here, yes. right? Yes. So you can see like as they're coming in, the yep. stage will be here, but the stage won't block where they can't see it. It'll just be down below. Correct, exactly. you want them to enter and then they're gonna, you know, then they start, then they get excited, right? And they start popping in all the entrances and that's when they pop in and they're gonna see the whole setup. I see. Okay, yeah. perfect. So you're good. Standing here is so surreal. Um, and it's almost mesmerizing just being in an empty dome and uh, just knowing that it will be filled with thousands and thousands of students throughout New York City that we will have an opportunity to inspire and motivate. Um, looking at my staff and seeing all the hard work that they've put into this day, it just makes me feel so proud and just, I feel so grateful that I was chosen for this assignment. And I just can't wait to see what's next because I will graduate day, it's going to be amazing.
we've been having some uh, problems with our bathroom over the last couple of uh, days. And right while we're in the midst of our graduate day. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this bathroom, but the toilet just keeps getting clogged up. So I'm asking the, the custodian, like how many hands <laughs> of tissue can the toilet take? Is it one or is it two? I don't know how everybody does their business or whatever, right? Yeah. But a normal, that was about what, four rows around my head? Maybe five. About five rows around yeah, my head. Yeah, this is about the maybe that's a normal, a less. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a normal roll. A, no, a normal roll. A normal roll. But in this the is how yes. much we can use. So we do a hand, do we go around the hand? Do we go around the hand? Do we go around the hand once or twice? No, you can go around four or five times. And that can take the flush. And then it should be able to flush, but I'm just saying it's okay. on the tissue as well. We had to literally hunt down a new destination just to use the bathroom in office, and it was really tough. We are just staying calm, staying focused, and staying on task because our graduate day is more important than a bathroom. So everyone says so all of our volunteers. It's a lot of adrenaline going on, a lot of confusion. Um, just trying to figure out where everybody needs to set up at. So I think the second walkthrough, for some weird reason, I don't know. Things just got a little. It was just a little bit difficult to get into the walkthrough. Um, you know, Miss Lewis wanted to go one way. Um, the, the staff from Barclays was taking us another way. We had to split the team up into groups. Okay, you would like to take. Whoever goes uh, Yeah, when they come down that elevator. Right, but you want to take them down this long hallway, then bring them all the way around? No, 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 no. They should just go around the corner and go into a... We should have a green room so for I'm talent show over you. there. I'm going to show you where we are. Yeah, so, over there, okay. yeah. Is this the business one? Yeah, which one is yes. going to come in? He identified which one is the oh, big green room. I think so. he was talking about the visitor's locker room as well. So what? is this the one we want visitor's to locker room? Is it this green room? Yeah, make this the green room because it's cool. I'm like sorry, it. man. Yeah, it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, right? yeah, 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 for people for a holding space before they walk on stage, correct? Yeah. It's like electives. You'll have some celebrities. Yeah. We're going to do the next chances. Gotcha. So you want to stick here and then grab Yeah. And we'll have some I need to work out some stuff um, because, yeah. Cool. In all honesty, the final walkthrough caused a lot of confusion. I think that now that we brought all of our teams together, everyone had questions. And we were running up and down. People were saying stuff that weren't supposed to be said. And it kind of caused a lot of confusion in the back of house when it came to legalities and our contracts because some people weren't brought up to speed as of yet. And they kind of were saying things that should never have been said or should have maybe been asked outside of the presence of other people. There are some challenges that we are facing because uh, at the walkthrough, we've done several walkthroughs, but Everyone hasn't been at every walkthrough. And so it becomes a little disjointed when you have different team leaders who have been at the walkthrough and then others who have not been at the walkthrough. So it's caused a little confusion, but you know, I think everyone on our team, we're all professionals. Everyone has a love and a desire to see this day uh, come to fruition in an excellent way. So I know whatever little things that are going on, we're gonna handle them and it's gonna be amazing. The office is in disarray. Everyone is swamped We're between our regular day tasks and schools coming to pick up their tickets, and it's been total madness. It's such a historic event. You know, it's tied in with celebrity, and it's downtown Brooklyn that's been renovated, and the kids all know about Barclay Center because it's the home of the Nets, right? I'm just, I can't wait. I can't wait for Monday, you know? I'm, I'm working through the weekend even. <laughs> This is the first time I've been a part of a, I want to say, a production like this. Um, I've done, you know, a few pr uh, productions throughout my lifetime, but to be, you know, uh, moving in this capacity, 
Um, it's, it's just phenomenal. Uh, we just got all of our stage banners and designs together, so I'm pretty excited. Like, I want, I want people to see all of our, all of our hard work. We're not, we're not seeing what's in front of us and utilizing our strategies. We're getting frustrated with what's in front of us and we're, we're shutting off all of the things that are around us that helps us get to what we need to do. And that's what I'm trying to connect the dots and make sure that even though we've all been working feverishly with our heads down, we gotta look up, we gotta see what's around and how we can connect those things to the broader picture and how we can connect the broader picture to all of these other tentacles, testicles that, is it no. tentacles or testicles? <laughs> I got it wrong? What is it, tentacles or, help me. Is it testicles? Uh, it's tentacles. <laughs> Yo, I'm dead, nah. <laughs> that was funny. Calm down. I made an error when I was speaking. I made a mistake and said testicles instead of tentacles. I understand that has disturbed some people, but I would just admonish everyone to please get your minds out the gutter. Pushing my weight side to side. We go right, right, and then left. So, don't just go. Production in general takes a lot of work, and rehearsal is where it starts. Getting these kids together as students of dance and making sure that everything they do comes out to perfection starts with discipline. A little abuse, but discipline. I was smiling because I was uncomfortable looking at the grim faces, okay? And I'm talking about the energy. We're not playing. These kids are so excited to be a part of this event that they're giving it their all, and I'm giving them my all with the choreography as well. So rehearsals is going great, everybody is working, and that's all I can really ask for at this point. graduate day is here, it's today. I mean, I'm feeling rather good. I just got a fresh silk press. It was pouring rain outside, so I'm trying to protect my hair at all costs. I ended up waking up at like five, came to the office for like six, made sure everything was printed out. And then um, I looked up, by the time it was like, I was done with everything, it was already like, way past call time. And I was just like, damn, I missed all the morning meetings. I hope, you know, I'm not lost. I'm now at the arena and I'm um, trying to meet with my production team just to kind of get everything in order. So I'm meeting with my jib operator, I'm meeting with my camera production guys, I'm meeting with the DJ, just trying to make sure everybody got all the details that they need so we can have a successful show. Franco! Eli, let's 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 meet. The DJ team, let's let's meet. Let's go through everything. Make sure we got everybody's music. Make sure we got everybody's stuff. In reference to certain cues on the run of show when we need to play a video content, we just need that connection piece. So I don't know if we need to give you one of our comms so with him so he can connect so how can we, we can communicate? Push you on a wireless him. belt bag with the director upstairs. What else are you guys using? You're using radio? Yeah, we have some comms, yeah. So we'll, we, you, but we won't use these for, for that part. That yeah, you, you can talk to the director just to give him a heads up when the video's coming. We'll, we'll get you a wireless belt pack and you can talk to him. What else are we missing? NBSK. NBSK what? NBSK on the bus. He will put on Okay, we ain't worried about stage, we're worried about video. Okay, no video. 
time's ticking. We're running out of time. We gotta get serious here. And I just wanna make sure that everybody is doing their roles they were supposed to do. I see people walking around the arena, lost, not knowing what the hell they're supposed to be doing. And they just, they just better get it together. So I'm gonna make sure that you run through the run of show in like 10 minutes. All right, let's do it right now. Alright, so minutes, go down the line, line for line, make sure we got everybody stuck. Here's the dumb performance. So you have the white light. That's alright. Yeah. So we make it. Here we're gonna go to one. So the opening of the the house, it looks nice now. With the blues going in and out, that looks nice. We'll have the DJ, we'll have some music going on. So that's that's our welcome. Yeah, it's gonna be like a party. Come on into the People house. People are walking in. Me and casa it's a party. su casa, bro. You want cafecito? Que quiere? Rice and beans. Exactly. Yeah, get comfortable <laughs> with some arroz y habichuelas yeah. and stuff. Well, I work with Sanchez day and night, getting the runner show together, making sure the itinerary with Eli and the whole co-host, uh, all the team members. We met every month, production meetings every month. And uh, that week of the show is when you feel the pressure of the production. Should be loading one now. Okay, he asked me about it. Um, he asked me, uh, I told him there's a link, there's video content inside yeah. of the link. Uh, what, what was your name? Sanchez. Sanchez? Oh, well, let me give him a call right now. Okay, cool. And then communication for Q. Communication for Q, I, I guess, Q. will be, yes. So I guess between them uh, and um, the team here that's signaling the video content will have to be queued from here. So you guys we do have comms. Okay. So you guys will just come into the director. All right, cool. And then you guys. So let's let's um let's get the comms so, together. So yeah, I'm gonna put you. Uh, I'm gonna give you Chuck's number, and he'll talk you through the production elements. All right, cool. Yeah. Get your comms, Chuck. Yes. Get your tape. Sanchez, did you let Dinity know what banner goes up? There? Yeah. He knows now. The banner's up, Tori. Okay. Time check, 9:47. Okay. Thank you. One second. This is all the shots. Make sure the, the sound, audio, stuff. Yo, Mike, let's do it, So we left the team breakfast a little behind schedule, and we got to the arena, and we did not realize that we were almost an hour behind schedule. So there were so many moving parts, and I don't know if we realized, even though we've done a few walkthroughs, how big the arena is. So when we got there, and all of our volunteers did walkthroughs, it was just like overwhelming at one point and, and I had to call the team together and, and really give them structure and make sure that everybody was on task because we worked too hard to get here and we cannot let this moment go by without it being excellent. Omar, I gotta send somebody, I need somebody to go in the lift to the office, a round trip lift. They are back with the shirts. Okay. All right, so that needs to happen because the pep rally starts at what time? All right. So is there anyone, you can give somebody your key or anybody the key? No, okay, you can't do that. You have to send somebody. I am. You know Shia, that. I need your key. Because Shia might need to go. If he's still setting up, huh? is he still setting up? I no. can send Jaden. Jaden okay. can go for me. Jaden and JP. Jaden and JP will go. That's who's going to go. Jaden and JP. No, turn it that way. I need you to um, get a lift and do a round trip to, trip to the office and get... I can't do right now. I'm unloading all the drinks and all sales. You're I'm unloading sales. what? Yes, the drinks and all sales. Why are you unloading drinks? Because no one's here to do it. Jaden, I mean, right Junior, I have a hospitality team. You do not but have to... But they're not here right now, Tonya. So I gotta get this done right now. Okay, but where's so the people from Pepsi? I can't answer those questions. Confusion, confusion, confusion. But it's gonna stop now because I get backstage and I see everybody doing stuff that they're not supposed to be doing. This person is unloading stuff in the, the in the, the from the truck. This person over here in the PR room. This person's over. Here. Stop. Let's get it together. Let's pull it back in. Let's get everybody working in their departments. Like we discussed, like all of our volunteer and our staff meetings, I need everybody to get in alignment. Remember, I'm a church girl and everything must be done in excellence. The lady who just came in here, Catherine, I need her. Get her back in here so we can get your space for your kids. What time are your kids coming? Okay, so we gotta move fast. Is there any rooms that we're not using? We're using, using all of the, I mean, we showed you all the rooms. I haven't gone to see how you're using all of the rooms. So maybe there's one that you're not using up. 
you know, there was a big you. room in the back that yeah. you guys said was for like the staff to eat. Yeah. So, yeah. Did we use that room also? I, I haven't checked. Can you check and see if that room is available? If it is, come back and let me know, please. Yeah. Thank you. People that make decisions is my executive team, the seven of us. That's JP, Omar, Kwesi, myself, Malika, and Sanchez. Those are the only six that should have the green. So this is my room. This is our I Will Graduate Media room. Then we put New York One there, CBS there, so that when they come in, this is the first stop everyone is making. Now, if you guys need the bigger space, I'll move you, but that's the reason why we chose this area, so that it could be one, two, three, four, quick. Yeah. Everything moves. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Uh, How I'm are you, darling? Good. And you I'm are? Joa Patina, the New York City dancer master. OK, I can't <laughs> wait to see you dance. Can we get a selfie? I want to just do a Hello, selfie with everyone. Nice. We are outside. Awesome, yes. It's going to get really hectic back here in about yes. two hours. So I just need to make sure that you like keep stuff close. Like, you know how it gets, yes. right? So one last time before I leave, because I'm not coming back up. Y'all got this. Y'all got, got, got this. Got it, got it. Because it's going to pick up intensely. I got you. It's, so y'all can't have people standing here. Y'all got to move them in and out. Move them in and out. Yes, yes. OK? So there's a huge line outside. The kids are excited. It's time to get the show going. Today is the biggest annual celebration of education for the Brooklyn nonprofit I Will Graduate. As thousands of New York City students are pouring into the Barclays Center, CBS2 is a proud partner of I Will Graduate as part of our Better Together campaign. Welcome to I Will Graduate Day, New York City! It's energetic to get people around talking about education. It's fulfilling to see students really put forth their greatest effort. But I think that none of this happens without the true team effort from the principals and teachers that are here to support the students as well. Tatanya, I'm just thrilled to be here, to be here with you. And I can't wait to actually get into the arena and feel the energy of all of these young people. Yes. Um, you know, it's not to be understated. When you plant a seed in the minds of a young child, and young children to help them understand mm -hmm. what they could possibly be mm -hmm. and that they are somebody. Yes. There's, there's nothing better than that. What up, Barclay Center? We out here, y'all. Yo, this is your practice round. Make sure you keep them all the way up, y'all. Keep them up, y'all. I want to win and see which side gets live. Come on. Could we get somebody to just sweep this so nobody falls? Can you call somebody to get that up off the floor? Yeah. How's it going, Deborah? It's filling up? Everything is back to normal. We are organized, things are moving. All of our department heads have all of their assignments. Uh, all of the vendors are getting set up. The press is coming in. All of our political partners are coming in. Our celebrity guests, I'm feeling like this is really going to be an amazing day. Y'all know what time it is. Damn, <laughs> I know I'm good. Time to shell it Did we not bring Wakanda to Barclays? <laughs> Everybody shout! Everybody shout! Everybody shout! I 
after the performance, oh my goodness, I, I couldn't be more proud of the kids. Their energy, their excitement, their discipline while they were on stage, and not only that, but they were absolutely focused on the project at hand. These kids understood the assignment and they went all the way in. Yo, what's up, it's NLE Chopper. You know what it is, I'm checking in at the I Will Graduate Day. Come here to turn up, give a good word for the kids, and um, bounce out, man. You know what it is, NLE Chopper. Let me see. Ron Suno. Yo, yo, what's going on? Who, why is, why is he performing? Why is, um, why is Ron Suno performing? Deborah, Deborah. Oh, I Franco. know. I know what song that is. It's not the clean version. Yeah, because it's not. I couldn't hear anything. It was a raw. It was exciting, and one of the presenters is an artist. And I don't know what happened. He went on stage. The kids went crazy. And next thing you know, I hear the music drop, and Sanchez is trying to get my attention. Like, why is he performing? Franco, why is Ron Suno performing? Is this record clean? No. <laughs> I guess it don't matter not here with you on stage doing the whole So some of the issues that we're having or some of the things that went wrong was um, there were artists who performed who weren't supposed to perform. Um, they were supposed to just go on stage and just do a speech. What am I going to do, pull the plug? Oh, my goodness. So now we was trying to get on stage. We literally had to go up to him and take the mic out of his hand. Give me that. Yo! Next we have... We had an issue <laughs> that I can't really go into detail, but one particular artist that we had where there was an issue that happened outside. Go to the street? All right. All right. Chanel, Chanel, where are you? Location, Chanel. Young Dagon and then where is this? Come on, he's been a long time feeling it. You know, like, he's, he's just not gonna, he's not gonna get him to put his brother. Yeah, I understand. Okay. I mean, to me, I don't even understand this whole situation. It's uh, silly. Okay, I number one. I know. You know, yeah. you sent out, a, um, you sent out information yeah. saying that. Oh, that's my guy. I mean, you, so. you can stop it. We try to rectify the issue. Got the artist back inside. We found a way to make things happen, and I thought things was good. But then, at, at a certain point, um, the jig was up. They, they found out, and we ended up losing one headliner, which was definitely a tough uh, bullet to bite. It was just a lot of crazy stuff that were happening. Um, but at the end of the day, everything worked out, and the show went on smoothly. <laughs> So I will graduate is very important because even as college students ourselves, we attend Damon University and we're still chasing our dreams while, you know, pursuing degrees in higher level education. So we want to show them that you don't have to choose either or, you can do both and still be successful in whatever choices you make in life, so. Fabio's here. Fabio just arrived in the building. The kids are gonna be so ecstatic when they see him. So we just want to get him inside, get him ready, um, so he can hit that stage and, you know, do what he do, baby. Brooklyn's in the house. I want y'all to stand to your feet and give it up for Fabio Fabio! <laughs> I come from Brooklyn, I'm saying, and I, I feel like nobody really told us to go graduate, oh, you know what I'm saying, so, that's right. uh, you know, I'm somebody that they look up to, so I want to tell them to go graduate too, you know what I'm saying, Clip out. Watch she come ride with the boss in the backseat, uh. 
It was just so fulfilling to see all the students um, having such an amazing time. They really enjoyed all the performers that hit the stage, and it was just something that they will remember for the rest of their lives. Y'all gonna graduate, right? Y'all gonna graduate, right? Make some noise if you gonna graduate, all right? All the way up there, make some noise if you gonna graduate, all right? Make sure you keep staying focused. Make sure you get focused, stay focused, and graduate so you can be bonded in a good education, whatever you tried to do. Does that make sense? This is an epic moment for I will graduate and the students of New York City who is going to benefit from the hard work of these amazing people. Get focused, stay focused was not just a theme, but it's a way of life. And we want these young people to know that I will graduate. We got focused, we stayed focused, and now look at what we've achieved. I will graduate day. The path to success, scholars, is not always easy. There are gonna be a lot of challenges along the way, but with the help and support of your village, who is here today to make sure that your dreams are fulfilled. Your village will sustain you. Your village will carry you because your village loves you. In the whole entire universe, you are the only person like you. And so you are here to do something special with your life. I want you to graduate and I want you to change the world. But prior to getting into the council, I was a teacher for 22 years. So I'm here to support young people, and I'm also a mom of four boys. So you matter to me. Your focus on how you focus in school is important to me to make sure that you graduate. We want to encourage all of you who are here today to continue to pursue your education because it is the pathway to success. So we want to see all of you completely engaged in what I will graduate is providing at your schools. Young people, like all of us, need a support system. Uh, I think all young people need to make sure that they have a squad, people who they, they can trust, who that they can tell things, because you cannot go through tough times alone. Your family, your friends, um, or whoever you consider a support system, I will graduate day is important to New York City and our community because simply with graduation comes life. Life will always give you another space that you need to step into and more work for you to do uh, when it's time for that level. So when these kids are ready to graduate and they are ready to go to the next spaces of life, they need to be equipped. And we just here to make sure that they, that we know, that they know that we have their backs. Hello, this is Mark John Jeffries. I'm an actor and an entrepreneur. Done a couple of movies in my lifetime, a couple of TV shows. It's very important to be here. I will graduate day. It's a, it's a big thing. It's not too many programs or too many opportunities for students to come together and kind of learn and be inspired by those that have come before them and done things. This event today will build their esteem and also encourage them to continue to keep pushing through, even through trials and tribulations and challenges that they have faced in life. A lot of young people don't turn out to what they're destined to be. They go down the wrong path. And for us in my school, we just want to go down the right path. I Will Graduate was a vision in my mind 14 years ago. 14 years ago, I made a decision that I wanted to encourage young people to reach their incredible potential. And along with my staff and my team and my family and my friends, and all of the people who have helped us make this day possible. We did it. So give yourselves a big round of applause.
Alright, good show, man. Oh my gosh, man. How it went? We was, it was great. It was epic. It was a lot. But it was awesome. And I'm very appreciative for bringing me on, brother. I, I love it. Secret agent man. Secret agent man. Another day. Success. Thanks to him. Give it up for all you ain't know the vibe. I'm a humble servant. You see, he got to get that dirt off his shoulder. You understand? The big thing was, where's Franco, right? Last, last doc. Franco, where you at, man? Where's Franco? I'm right here. I'm back, yo. Remember last year I disappeared to get my son for lunch? But this year, I'm not even eating. I'm here, ready to go. Oh, Franco! I was told not to leave. You were told not to leave? Yeah, because last year I got lost. Last year you got lost, huh? I'll be right here. Yeah, uh-huh. You went to pick your son up. Don't pick your son up! 